A mysterious space visitor has recently passed its closest approach to Earth, flying by at a distance of 64 million miles. It might be something totally natural and born on the outskirts of the solar system. Or some unknown civilization could be examining us from above right at this moment. This new object looks a lot like another strange wanderer called Three-Eye Atlas, and you'll understand why we say strange pretty soon. So, could both of them come from the same place outside our solar system? What we do know is that this new object is relatively close to us, in space terms of course, and scientists are now studying it closely. They first spotted it inside our solar system, and people are paying attention because it showed up not long after Three-Eye Atlas passed near our Sun. On November 2, 2025, astronomer Gennady Borisov, the same person who discovered interstellar comet 2I Borisov in 2019, found this new object. It's now got its official name and is listed in NASA's and the Minor Planet Center's databases. C2025V1 has some unusual features. Its orbit is tilted 113 degrees, which means it's moving almost up and over the regular path that planets take. Even more bizarre, its orbital plane is almost at a right angle to the path of 3I Atlas. Plus, it doesn't have a clear comet tail, which is odd. Right now, its orbit has an eccentricity of 1.0095. And let me break it down in human language. If that number was well above 1, it would mean the object definitely came from outside the solar system. But because it's only just a bit above 1, the most likely explanation is that C 2025 v1 came from the Oort cloud. That's a giant faraway shell of icy objects that surrounds the solar system. Now scientists check this by basically rewinding the object's path sending it all the way back to about 1,000 AU. That's 1,000 times farther than the Earth is from the Sun. At that huge distance, the planets can't mess with its motion anymore. When they redo the orbit from that point, its eccentricity, the number that tells you if it's from outside the solar system, usually drops below 1, which means it's still part of our solar system. But at the same time, even a tiny push from Jupiter while passing by could make even a normal Oort cloud comet look like it has an eccentricity slightly above one. And on top of that, small blasts of gas coming off the comet's surface can also change the numbers a little. So, to put it simply, it probably isn't interstellar. It just looks that way because of small pushes and gas bursts. C2025 V1 is still exciting, even if it comes from the Oort cloud, because studying it gives us a chance to analyze the material from that distant region and learn how our solar system formed and evolved. Now, let's get back to the mystery of 3I Atlas. Before anything else, let's explain what 3I Atlas actually is. It's most likely a comet, basically a huge, dirty snowball flying through space. You can't see it with your own eyes or with a regular telescope. But there's good news. A powerful telescope in Italy is streaming it live for free. So anyone can actually watch this mysterious object as it passes by. Scientists think this comet weighs about 33 billion tons. That number is hard to imagine, so here are a few comparisons. The Eiffel Tower weighs around 10,000 tons. So, 33 billion tons is the same as a whopping 3.3 million Eiffel Towers. And if you decide to compare the space visitor to buildings, 33 billion tons is about the same as the weight of several huge city areas made entirely of steel and concrete. But even all that size isn't the wildest part. Some experts think this object might be a piece of unknown technology from outside our galaxy. And they're not saying this just for fun. There are real reasons behind the theory. 3I Atlas was first noticed in July by NASA's Asteroid Terrestrial Impact Last Alert System, or ATLAS. Shortly after, NASA confirmed that the object wasn't from our solar system at all. It's an interstellar object, only the third ever discovered. 
The first one was a moa moa in 2017, which looked long and flat and didn't behave like a normal rock. The second was comet B.I. Borisov in 2019. Now we have 3i Atlas, and it is enormous compared with the other two. Its nucleus is up to three and a half miles wide, while Oumuamua was only about a quarter mile long, and Borisov was around a half mile across. Besides being huge, 3i Atlas is unusual in several other ways. As it moves through the solar system, it's releasing massive amounts of carbon dioxide and gas. This suggests that 3i Atlas is three to five orders of magnitude, which means 1,000 to 100,000 times more massive than the other two known interstellar visitors. Such an enormous difference is a real scientific mystery. It's also traveling incredibly fast, about 150,000 miles per hour, which is almost 200 times the speed of sound. And unlike objects in our solar system, which followed curved paths because of gravity, 3i Atlas is moving on a nearly straight line. That alone makes it stand out. These odd behaviors have led some researchers to consider a pretty unexpected idea. 3i Atlas might be a probe sent by another civilization, possibly to study Earth. According to this theory, the object could be a sign of some kind of intelligence from beyond our solar system. Why do they think this? Well, because the object's movement doesn't match what you'd expect from something controlled only by gravity. It also passes close to Venus, Mars, and Jupiter. And these are the planets that might be especially interesting for an outside civilization to observe. Another very unusual feature of 3i Atlas's path is that its orbit is tilted only a little compared to the plane of the solar system, about 5 degrees, and it moves in the opposite direction to most planets. This feature might allow the object, or its creators, to take extremely precise measurements of planets, things like their orbits and sizes, to plan a perfect flight route through the solar system. And if 3i Atlas suddenly changes direction at some point, that could mean it's using a built-in engine instead of simply drifting through space. Now, new photos have also shown that 3i Atlas has at least seven jets blasting material into space, some shooting in totally opposite directions. Now, if this thing is just a normal comet, it would have had to lose a huge amount of its original mass when it passed near the Sun, way more than just 10-20%. to 20%. Only some of that material would actually push the object in one direction, so the total amount blown off would need to be massive. If that's what happened, then there should be now a giant cloud of gas and dust around 3i Atlas. And if that cloud exists, it'll be pretty easy to figure out what the comet is made of. The James Webb Space Telescope will check this when 3i Atlas gets closest to Earth on December 19, 2025. But if 3i Atlas is not a normal comet and is actually some kind of technology, it wouldn't need to lose that much material. Engines built by an advanced civilization could give it a boost while using way less gas, because they shoot it out way faster. Faster exhaust gives more push with less fuel, so a technological object wouldn't need to blast away big chunks of itself the way a natural comet would. So, to sum it up, there's still a big mystery around 3i Atlas. Could it really be a technological mothership that released small probes into the inner solar system? But C2025 V1 doesn't fit that idea, unless one of the objects used some kind of engine. The closest their orbits ever come is about 46 million miles, and the two objects themselves were never closer to each other than about 140 million miles. The tiny, non-gravitational push detected in 3i Atlas is nowhere near strong enough to close this gap. So, C2025 V1 is almost certainly not one of the many probes people imagine 3i Atlas might have released. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.